This days, we can do everything from booking tickets to shopping and everything we can do on our phones with just our smartphones. But with this constant usage, our mobile store suffered. As a result, we often run out of battery power before we can easily recharge it at home. For this reason, many people use municipal charging stations. But are these public charging stations safe? The simple answer is maybe yes or no. Sometimes using these public charging stations can come with some risk. These vulnerable charging points provide a gateway to an attack known as a juice jacking. Would you like to learn more about juice jacking? Let's discuss directly below. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you have question let us to know in the comments. Now let's start with What is Juice Jacking Attack? Juice Jacking can be defined as a cyber attack which comes through public charging ports such as hotels, airport or at the mall. Hackers usually install malware with these chargers to copy sensitive data from the tablet, laptops, smartphone or another device. So, always think twice before using that random charging cable found at a hotel, airport or any public place. Juice jacking happens when a user plugs their devices into USB ports or use USB cables that have been logged with malware. When you plug your phone on the same cable, it offers an approach for a malicious user to gain access to your phone during the charging process of your device. Now let's look at three types of juice jacking attack. The first is data theft. Juice jacking can lead to data theft of connected devices. Hackers can search your phone for personally identifiable information i.e. personally identifiable information, account credentials, banking-related data, credit card data, etc. These hackers have the ability to copy all the information on their devices. Nowadays there are many such apps that clone all the data from your phone to another phone. The second is Malware Installation once the connection is established, the malware is automatically installed on the connected device. Malware remains on the device until it is detected and removed by the users. There are several categories of malware that cybercriminals can install through juice jacking including adware, crypto miner, ransomware, spyware, or even trojans. The third is multi-device attack. A multi-device attack is a method of attacking multiple devices at the same time. A device charged by infected cables may infect additional cables and ports with the same malware as an unwitting carrier of the virus, in addition to hurting the device plugged into a corrupted charger. An attack that renders you helpless. Some virus that is downloaded via a charging device might lock the user out of their gadget, giving the hacker complete control. Now let's look at how to prevent juice jacking. We can avoid juicing by taking some precautions. Some of them are listed below. The first is, always carry your personal charger. Chargers have become so small and lightweight, and they are very easy to carry on with you. Keep a charger in your bag so you can charge your own phone or other devices and keep your data safer. The second is, never use the USB cable provided by the public charging station if the mobile phone needs to be recharged right away. Instead, carry your charging cable also. The third is, when you are traveling, you can carry a power bank. This prevents the need to charge at public ports. Note that even high security areas like airports aren't always secure. Thanks for watching this article so far. If you like these videos then please share them with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. If you have any questions or feedback then please drop a comment. And which is best for you, drop on the comment. Thank you for subscribing.